We use nuclear radiation in medicine to explore internal organisms, that's like doing scans, or control or destroy unwanted tissue. You need to be able to evaluate the risks and the uses of them based on the type of radiation that's emitted and their half-lives. We use gamma tracers to explore internal organs by injecting them into the blood. And we use a gamma camera outside of the body which can detect the location of the gamma emitter. So we can analyze rates of blood flow for maybe people with circulation problems. We can also use radioactive iodine to analyze fluid flow in the kidneys. These are just some examples. A tracer needs to be a gamma emitter because we need to be able to detect it outside the body. And it needs to have a long enough half-life to allow the test to happen, but a short enough half-life to limit the risk. Gamma radiation can be used to kill cells in cancers, and we use what we call a narrow beam of from a cobalt source, a narrow beam of gamma rays, and we focus it on the tumour. And then it's rotated around the body so that the tumour gets a really large dose and the healthy cells get a really small dose. It has to be gamma because it has to penetrate in the body and it's just intense enough to cause enough ionization to cause damage. We can also use a beta emitter or a gamma emitter by using an implant which is placed next to a tumor and it gives a continuous dose for as long as it is radioactive. It needs to have a half-life which is long enough to give a sufficient dose to the tumor but it needs to be short enough so that it doesn't stay radioactive in that person's body for a long long time. We need to limit the dose to the patients and to the people actually administrating these procedures by limiting their time of irradiation and by using shielding. And you need to actually evaluate the actual risks against the perceived risk. So they may give you data and maybe consequences of accidents and ask you to compare that to people's opinions and people's ideas. Remember, whenever you're given any data, add value to it. Do something with it. Work out a percentage. Say one thing is much, much larger than another. That's what we mean by making a comparison. And we get a lot of answers which are just requoting the data and expecting us to do the comparison ourselves. Make sure you add value to the data that you're given.